This shrine at the corner of Banak and Zaracota streets in Dangriga marks the spot where 35-year-old Elroy Quinones hemorrhaged before he was rushed to the Southern Regional Hospital. Within minutes, he died while receiving treatment at the medical facility. Quinones was shot multiple times to the body, including to the head, by a gunman that approached and f opened fire at him. News 5 spoke with a close cousin who says that he had just left Quinones when he received a text about the tragedy. I was at a friend's house. She just called me and told me that her car wasn't starting. So I went over to our house to get it started. And while I was over at her house, my son, my 17-year-old son, gave me a WhatsApp message and said, Dad, please don't tell me that the oldest cousin that I just got to meet through you, well, my cousin that I got to meet through you, that he just got hit up. His friend told him that he just passed the scene and saw the same guy that he was talking about on the ground. So I jumped in my friend's car and I sped off to the scene. When I reached the scene, before I even reached the scene, I saw people on the block, so I already knew that something wasn't right. He wasn't on the scene anymore, it was just blood on the ground, so I started praying and hoping that he would walk through it. Quinones was sitting on a chair near this concrete fence, one property across from his family home. He was with two of his sons when the gunman, who was barefaced, came up to them. The father of four was mortally wounded in front of his children. They did not even care. Like it was like a couple steps away from my auntie home, you know. So I try to play like this. you try to show that you don't care about nothing. Like you could do something like that in front of his two kids. His kids was right there, playing with the dogs. We have three dogs. You understand? Three puppies, and you could do something like that in front of his family and not care. Like how are we supposed to feel about you? Rudolph Green says that Quinones has been targeted in the past, but managed to pull through. This instance, however, he did not survive. So who wanted him dead and why? While police have not shared a motive as yet, Green shares what he believes may have led to the crime. This is a willow, yo. This has already been hit up like so many times before he walked away from it, you know? But it's just like people that hate pan he. This like people feel like we're making millions of dollars in at Ali board or so over there. We don't have nothing like that, yo. We just, if, just work and hustle basically to survive. We survive in day to day and the only thing that we, we make off, what, whatever we make off, whatever we doing, it goes towards our kids. And so many parents, so many mothers, children, you know, this block that could walk by and say, piece of two dollars, piece of dollar, piece of five, piece of six for, to go to school. He buy books for kids, he, he feed kids. Why would they want to do something like this? Hate, bro. You just said jealousy, but jealousy comes with hate. It comes with uh, uh, overthinking the way you're living and the whole nine yards, yo. Like, they just probably feel like, ooh, you move like you're too good. Like, you can't move around us or you can't drink with us, you can't hang with us. We just don't mess with people. We aren't this whole shot, brother. Green says that the business plan that they were undertaking is now on pause. Today, police returned to the scene to canvas the area. Dwayne Moody for News 5.